Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at The Batman. Uh, I saw this movie this past Thursday and had to have a figure of it now. And I can't wait until like 2025 whenever Mezco's comes out. Uh, you know, I'm not really collecting McFarlane, but when it's something interesting or different like this, I'll make an exception. And I do have a collection of Batman figures that kind of stopped when McFarlane got the license because they've produced 742 different Batmans and you just can't buy all of them. Uh, I do like McFarlane's packaging. It stands out. It's kind of gigantic, but they make figures of all different shapes and sizes. So it, it is nice that they've got one profile for this. Uh, on the back of the box, you've got a cool action shot. Can I say, I don't think it spoils anything to say taken directly from the movie. Uh, from one of the coolest scenes in the movie. Full review coming this Friday on the Needless Things podcast, by the way. Go check that out. Uh, you've got the cross cell that you can't really tell what's in these pictures at all, but at least it does show you that there are more figures out there. And, I mean, you've seen them all in stores by this point, which is one of the things, like, I don't typically review a ton of stuff that you can just walk right into a store and buy, and it's super duper common, and, and what, you know, uh, Ted can go to the store and buy this, so why does he even need my review? But maybe that's why, because you've seen this, and you're like, well, look, it's another Batman, whoopee, uh, and we're going to find out right now if you should buy it or not. So let's open this thing up. Uh, I'm... I, I'm so excited I knocked the camera. Uh, I am pretty excited about this bat suit. I still do personally believe that Affleck's bat suit was the best. Uh, just that gray and black one. Uh, or the best movie bat suit. But uh, this one, when you're sitting there watching the movie, it looks really cool. Uh, okay, so we have the trading card, which I'm still baffled by. Do, like, does anybody keep these? Uh, shout it out in the comments. Uh if if anybody cares about these trading cards i don't know i mean they're you know they're not terrible but but i just whatever uh and then you've got the stand which for some of these figures is essential uh all right let's figure out what we've got a snip to get him out of here it looks like just this one little double strap dealy i'm gonna go in from the back because i don't want to accidentally cut his utility belt or something well but i can't Mm. Oh, man, what a challenge this guy's turning out to be. Uh, all right, looks like we've got a little space here. There we go. And we've got, oh, don't want to forget his, uh, looks like grapple gun right there. And we've got to do the thing I hate where you have to pull the cape through a slot in the tray, which I guess I could have gone and cut through the tray, but whatever. Who cares? He's out. Uh, all right. So this is our new Batman suit. Uh, Robert Pattinson. You can already see he's got a wonky ear up there just because that's softer plastic because, quite frankly, if it wasn't, you could kill somebody with these pointy ears. Uh so, sorry, I had to throw the tray away. It was sitting there making creaky noises. Uh, the suit itself is, honestly, it's it's nothing all that new. On the figure, I don't know if I really noticed this in the movie. And actually, one thing I'm noticing here on the figure is in the movie, he's got a giant holster of some kind that hangs down. Although, I am not positive if that's just something he wore for one or two scenes, or if that's always there. I, I've got to see the movie again, because, there, I mean, it's worth seeing again. There is a lot to take in. Uh, on the figure, though, you can see it actually is uh, gray and black. It's not all black, like I kind of thought it was. I'm going to try and straighten his torso up here. You can see where uh, the lower abdomen is kind of out of, out of whack. I'm going to twist that a little bit, get it straightened up. And there we go. Uh, so, it's not, you know, it looks cool. It's not a bad design by any means, but it's also not really anything too exciting or different from what we've seen before. Very reminiscent of Christian Bale's uh, Dark Knight suit, I would say. 
uh, which is, you know, not totally a bad thing, but it does, you know, it's got the plating, but then also uh, you can see where it's fabric of some kind here. So it's a little flexible. It doesn't look completely like just a big suit of armor, uh, like the Batman Begins suit did. The joints, uh, you know, this is, if you know McFarlane, but maybe you don't, maybe that's why you're watching this, because you're like, I haven't bought any of these McFarlane toys, but now that the Batman has these figures, I want to check them out. So you've got a nice shoulder joint here with the plates are connected at the bicep, so they move kind of up and down. Sorry, I'm holding the cape down. So you can kind of move the layers. Oh, ugh, I don't care for that. So the cape is attached i don't know if we'll actually be able to see maybe you can see it right in there let's let's see let me let me get a pointer here so if you can see right there uh the cape is pegged into the back um i'm not a big fan of that i because it limits what you can do because this is as high up as the cape can go now granted it is it's a soft plastic but it's not like it's soft goods, so you can do whatever you want with it. Uh, I don't I don't like it being pegged into the back like that, though. I'd rather it be attached up here and maybe at the very top. Uh, but it does have that nice collar that this that is distinctive about this. This is actually, uh, when I first saw this bat suit, it reminded me a lot of Gotham by Gaslight. Uh, and especially... And I don't know if you guys will be able to really see the detail or not. Oh, here's one thing that annoys me. Uh, Todd McFarlane, who, who I do think is a creative genius and has done, uh, revolutionized the toy industry a couple of times now. But Todd McFarlane made the decision that he didn't like it when action figures were looking straight ahead. So now when you look at McFarlane toys, they're all doing the side eye thing. And I don't care for it myself. I, like, I get what McFarlane is saying, but I just don't, I don't think it looks good. I think it was a bad decision. And I think it might have been said that going forward, they're not doing that anymore. I don't know. But you can even see on the cowl here, the stitching, the cowl in the movie is, uh, it's like leather. Uh, and I think there's maybe a plate up here, but you can see the stitching. And when you're watching the movie, uh, I mean, you'll be looking at his face a lot anyway, because Pattinson does a fantastic job as Batman. Uh, you can actually see all of the stitching in the mask. It was really, really nice cowl on this one. Probably, uh, you know, I like this cowl the best, I think. While I like the Affleck suit the best, this cowl just really has a lot of character to it. You can see, uh, you can't see it on the figure, but in the movie, there's little spots of damage and stuff. Like, it looks great. And I will say... You know, McFarlane, I've, I've talked a lot about how bad they are with likenesses, and it's true, they are. Uh, but they've done a really nice job with Pattinson's jaw here. He's got a very strong jawline, which which is part of what made him great for Batman. Uh, uh, he looks great. They've done a good job here. I feel like there's a little less detail in the bat symbol. I was just checking to see if it's removable. Uh, for no particular reason, no spoilers, uh, there's a little less detail in the bat symbol than there should be. There should be some uh, some s silver metallic or like gunmetal in here a little bit, uh, but otherwise they've got you know the all the paint looks great. He's got uh, the little you know signature Batman deals on the gauntlets. These things, which are so odd to me because I don't believe he actually uses those at all in the movie. I don't know what they are, but they're such a standout, strange addition to the bat suit that I was kind of waiting the whole movie for them to have a purpose. And, and I, I could be wrong. Like I said, I need to watch the movie again, but I don't believe he ever does anything with those. Uh, so anyway, back to the articulation. You can see you get sort of your standard shoulder joint. Nothing at the bicep, which is a little unusual. Unless, oh, and you've got the uh, the standard McFarlane sort of butterfly cup type deal going on right there. Uh, that gives it a little more movement, you can see. Uh, I'm really shocked at the lack of bicep joint, though. Okay, so, uh, double jointed elbow that looks pretty good and gets a, a heck of a deep bend. Uh, and then at the wrists, 
This this is probably my biggest complaint about McFarlane is I don't like this ball that they use uh, for the wrist. It gives it really, really nice uh, movement, a, a great range, but it just doesn't look great. It break To me, this breaks up the profile of the figures, and they do the same. Well, okay, we'll get to his ankles in a minute. Uh, the we've got an abdominal joint here, and then the waist joint is also a ball joint. Although there's not a lot of movement there. Uh, utility belt. He's got a glossy black utility belt that looks very cool. Uh, super dark, but looks good. And I'm trying to see. I thought there was a little bit of painted detail on it, but there's really not. It's just all glossy black. Uh, but it's uh, you know it looks good. Uh, he's got a little carabiner or something down here. Great, great sculpt on this thing. Did a very nice job uh, making that look good. Uh, and then you've got double jointed knees with a great range. But then down here, okay, so we've got our standard McFarlane ankles. That's the same kind of ball joint as the wrist, but they're covered up. But uh, toe joints, so dumb. Get, get these toe joints out of my face. Uh, they're covered up by the bottoms of the boot covers. But you still got a really nice range because these boot covers are a soft plastic. So they bend and flex as you move that ankle joint. So he's actually got a pretty decent range uh, with the overall leg movement. I'm pretty impressed with that. So he looks good. He's got a great profile. He's a different looking Batman. Like he, yes, I said he's you know pretty similar to past bat suits that we've seen, but he is going to stand out on the shelf. He does you know look. It, he is noticeably different, uh, and you know possibly because he's also seven inches tall rather than six. But uh, looks looks good. We've got a C grip on the left hand, and then on the right hand you can see. You've got a peg hole right there, and that is because his grapple gun actually extends out of his gauntlet. Uh, like it pops out of his gauntlet, it seems. There's a scene I won't get into where you see it kind of in action, uh, and it's, it's very cool. So that just pegs in right there. Looks cool. You know, a little tiny grapple gun, but what do you need? If they do like a deluxe version with tons of gadgets, uh, yeah, he's, well, I, I don't want to get into spoilers. I'll just say you need to go see this movie. If you like the movie or you just like the bat suit, you need to get this figure. McFarlane did a very nice job. And some of the things that I like the least about McFarlane's figures are mostly obscured by the sculpt. Uh, the wrists, the balls don't stand out quite as badly because the gauntlets extend down a little bit. Uh, and the ankles, you don't see them at all. So two of my biggest problems, which my problem is the size and the wrist and the ankles on these. Those are my real issues. Uh, so two of the biggest problems are not apparent on this figure. Uh, looks good. Nice job, McFarlane. Uh, nice job, Matt Reeves and uh, Robert Pattinson and everybody else in the movie. Go check it out and check out this Friday's Needless Things podcast for our full review of The Batman. I'm the Batman. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.